winning the second Grand Slam of the ending with the New York City Marathon, it's absolutely just an incredible achievement. I've had such a wonderful year coming off the Sochi Paralympic Games and getting right into marathoning with London and then Boston and then now Chicago, New York. It's just been an unbelievable season and it's been a year about family and just support and just love of the sport and I have done something that no one has done and it's just such an incredible feeling after all the hard work and, uh, and the dedication and the time that I've put into it. When I tipped over at mile 26, um, it was, well, it was my fault. I came out of my wheelchair completely. I thought that a cyclist, you know, being so close and being so narrow, happened to run me over, but it was a motorcycle that <laughs> ran me over, so the helmet did its job and it protected my head. Um, but I quickly got back up because I wasn't sure relatively where were the other pack of women were coming in. So I didn't want to have that, my mistake, uh, cost the race for me. So I got up as soon as possible, as quickly as possible. Next, I am going to be competing in Japan. Um, this coming Sunday, I'll run another marathon. Um, it's going to be really tough. The recovery time is really, really short. Um, it's going to be a fast marathon. It's going to be relatively flat compared to New York. Um, and then I'll be done. Um, then I'll just focus on, on the holidays and to do a little bit of casual skiing. And then next year, it's really focusing on getting ready for Rio. Sometimes that you, you do hit a, a runner's block and you do hit the hardest point in your marathon and that's the most important time to regain focus because you're, for me, like my hips start to hurt, my legs are uncomfortable in the chair, I can feel the soreness in my arms and I mean that's very human of us to, to reach that point because 26 miles is a long way to go and just thinking about the race and getting in a different element and thinking about why you're doing this and the important things um, help you to relax and help you loosen up which can help you move your move your body again but it's just being a, that can separate athletes as well and it can separate people and it's really just about refocusing and finding that in the race.